Hey Rochelle, it's Rachel. Thanks for clicking on this video. I'm just going to briefly show you a few things I found on your website that you can fix easily so you can start bringing in more business. Now you're probably wondering why I would even make this video for, video for you. It's super simple. There are a lot of business owners out there that are so busy running their own company that they just don't have time to learn how to make the internet bring them even more business. So I started making these videos and giving them away for free. Now some folks call after watching this and some do this stuff on themselves. Whatever you guys would like to do is okay with me. This is free information but it will help you rank on Google if you follow these tips. Now the three things I'm going to talk to you about today are content, backlinks, and citations. So I've got Infinite Electric's website up here and just scrolling through this I really like this header here. It's got all of your information right up here at the top, your contact perfectly right up there. Really nice logo. It's got a great picture. This text is easy to read. Your phone number is right there. Again, another call today contact option right there available for customers to see. Um, this looks just really nice, really crisp and clean. Call today. Um, just it's a pretty good looking website. Just very simple and sleek. Lots of information and stuff for clients to look at. Some reviews. All kinds of great stuff. And then we come down to the bottom and you've got a really great footer as well. Another book and appointment. More contact information. Um, different places for them to connect with you guys. Just really great stuff here. Um, but what Google really cares about is content and they want to make sure that you're within a 1500 to 2000 word mark. Now I've gone ahead and copied your website and I've pasted it into wordcounter.net and this shows that you guys are about at about 908 words. And again, you want to be at that 1500 mark. So you're close, but we definitely want to bump this up a little bit. I've also put Handyman Electric, who's the top competition in Spokane for you guys and as you can see their website's ranking at 226 words so already you're above and beyond them but again we want to get you to that 1500 mark and on top of that Google really cares about keywords that's within your content so keywords include like electrician Spokane so I've gone ahead and I've searched your page here to see how many times this is in here and of course it's in here just once right here this is a great way to get that keyword in there but you can sprinkle keywords like that throughout the content as well especially once you get it up closer to that 1500 even to 2000 words and you can sprinkle it in there numerous times and these are by your intent keywords this is somebody that's actually looking for an electrician in that area and Google's going to realize that, and the more it's on your page, the more it's going to help you rank for it. Now, another thing that you guys can do is when you save these images before you put them onto your website, save them as keywords as well. So again, Electrician Spokane. Google's going to see that, and it's going to help you rank for it. Now, next, I want to talk about backlinks. So Google is similar to a popularity contest. So backlinks are very important because Google wants to see a bunch of other websites vouching for you, saying that you are trustworthy, but Google also has to make sure that those backlinks are trustworthy and relevant as well. So it's like a network of trustworthy websites just linking to each other and you need to get some of the power in those linking to you. But not all backlinks are created equal. So you're not going to hold as much power if you have, say, Pizza Hut linking to you because Google knows you aren't a pizza company. So the tool that I use to check out backlinks is called Arifs, and I've gone ahead and I've posted you guys into Arifs and also, again, that competition handyman. And so what we're looking at here is already you guys have 102 referring domains. So that's 102 websites that are linking back to you, while your competition only has 35. So you guys are kind of already killing it there. One thing that you can do is go into Handyman's, click in these referring domains, and any ones that you don't have that he does, go ahead and get yourself added to those two. And the way you do that is you just click on each one and maybe you have to build a profile and register it, or maybe you just email the account owner and some of them you have to pay a monthly fee for, 
but it's worth it to improve that organic traffic that's coming to your website. Now, when I talk about the organic traffic, this is what I mean. Organic traffic for Handyman is 161. Organic traffic for Infinite Electric is 126. So you guys are only a little bit behind him, but boosting these referring domains and improving that content and sprinkling in some more buyer intent keywords into that content is going to help boost that organic traffic. And this is important because this is real people that are experiencing your website, 126 people a month, clients coming to you guys, bringing you money, bringing you more business. That's exactly what you want. Now this is going to help you rank organically, like I said, which means that you guys are going to show up right down here and it's going to help you rank first which is exactly where you want to be. So with just those two tips on content and backlink, you can beat your top competitors organically in Google. Now what you can also do is um, bid higher on these Google ads and you guys will show up even more up here. And so we've got you here, that's great. We can get you up here too. Now the last tip that I have for you, and really this is the most important one, it's to get you guys ranking number one up here because this is where the majority of the traffic is happening. This area is called the local map pack or Google My Business. Getting here requires having more citations than your competitors. If you're wondering what a citation is, it's when your name, address, and phone number are listed in a directory. And if you're wondering what a directory is, it's just a website that allows you to list your business's information such as Yelp, Yellow Pages, Facebook, White Pages, Angie's List, Home Advisor, things like that. So what I would do if I were in your shoes, I'd figure out what directories your, con your competition was in and I'd put myself in those exact same ones and then I'd do a bunch more. So if Handyman Electric has 150 directories, you're going to be in all those same ones and then 300 total. All right, Rochelle, that's all I've got for you. I've tried to keep this information short and to the point. But let's do just a quick recap here. So we talked about adding a little bit more content on your guys' homepage here and sprinkling in some more buyer intent keywords, things like electrician Spokane. And then we talked about backlinks. And so you guys have some really good backlinks. You can go ahead and check out your competitors' backlinks and make sure that you're on all of those same exact ones as well. And then finally, we talked about those citations and getting you right up here in this number one spot in the Google My Business, and then also having yourselves organically in the number one spot down here below. Now you're probably wondering, well, what do I do now? So you've got two options. You can take this information and you can knock it all out all yourself. And I totally invite you to do that. It does take some time to rank higher up. So the sooner you can get started, the better. Or if you're like some other folks that I speak to and you don't and you do want this done but you don't have a lot of time to do it yourself, just feel free to give me a call. I'd love to talk to you guys about your goals and come up with a plan for you. So give me a call or shoot me a text. My number is 406-530-7548. Thanks.